Alrighty, hi everyone. So today, just like the title says, I'm going to be unboxing the new Light Harmonic or LH Labs Geek Out V2 Plus uh, portable DAC and headphone amplifier. And before I get into the video, I just want to say that I just got a new camera here. This is the Nikon D7100. Uh, so I just want to quickly test how well this camera does in low light video recording which my previous iPhone did very poorly uh, and so I'm also testing the onboard or not the onboard but the built-in uh, microphone feature that the D7100 has so I'm using the binaural microphones but I'm using the microphone input. Alright so without further ado let's go ahead and see how well this video goes. So here's the, the box for the Geek Out V2 Plus. Now the V2 Plus will actually not look quite like what it does on the package. Um, it is a 3D printed material, um, but it's combined with a metal uh, aspect as well. They changed the design kind of last minute. And so I'm actually kind of curious to see what the final design looks like because all of what we've seen basically is this uh, 3D printed one that they originally planned to have. So well, it looks like the camera can get that. How about even closer? Okay, so yeah, basically it's like the, the geek out in terms of uh, the DAC part. Um, it is this Geek Out V2 Plus and the Geek Out V2 do use the new uh, ESS Sabre 9018AQ2M DAC chip. So it's a, a different variant of the ESS 9018AQ2M, uh, I believe was the, the last one that the Geek Out used. Um, so it is the updated DAC chip, uh, 2015 version. So let's get this open and see what the inside looks like. See, my microphone levels are doing pretty good so far. This is a really stiff plastic wrap, so. Excuse me if this is taking me a struggling while to open. Well, there's that. Oh, actually on the bottom of the plastic wrap, there's a warning. Let's see. It says, do not plug in single-ended and balanced headphones at the same time. So the Geek Out V2 Plus and V2 uh, both have the same kind of uh, dual headphone out ports. But apparently for the Geek Out V2 and V2 Plus, you're not supposed to use both at the same time, unlike the original Geek Out where you could use both. So, unboxing this, here's the V2 Plus. And then on the back here, it is just the uh, user manual that you can view online. You don't actually get one in the package. And the uh, limited warranty statement terms and conditions, blah, blah, blah. All right, um, inside the foam block after you remove the V2 Plus is the USB cable, just the standard micro and yeah, micro USB cable here, nothing too special. Okay, you can use the manual focus and see. Ah, there we go. Micro USB, the USB, so this is how you would connect the, the V2 Plus to your computer. And then here's the V2 Plus itself. It's a pretty nice looking front, in my opinion. Um, the sides and, yeah, all the sides are made of a, the 3D printed plastic that I mentioned earlier. Um, so it's a little bit awkward to have this hybrid material, but in person it looks pretty good uh, when combined. 
So here's the side again. And at the bottom we have two ports. Again, one of them is single entry, single ended. The other one is a balanced one. And just like that warning said, don't use both at the same time. So they included this little plug here to prevent you from plugging both in. Um, this is a non-standard 3.5 millimeter TRRS jack. So um, usually you see 2.5 millimeter ones like in the Astell and Kern uh, players. So if you're going to use a balanced headphone, make sure that you have the 3.5 four pole TRRS uh, adapter. Um, I'm going to have to make one myself for the AKG K71 since I don't have this uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter yet. Um, but that's that. So here's a, a micro USB port that you can use for charging, I believe. And this one, no, this one's the one you use for charging. And this one's the one you use to connect to your smartphone, I believe. So on the side here, we have this uh, switch for the power. And we have a gain switch and a digital filter switch. So just like the Geek Out V2, or, and the Geek, original Geek Out, rather, uh, has two digital filters. One of them is TCM mode, time coherent mode, which is the minimum phase one. And the FRM mode, or frequency response mode, which is the slow roll-off filter. So actually on this case, you can see a little bit of the inside circuits. It's hard to tell on the camera, but you can definitely see the inside components there. Uh, this looks to be like an op amp of some sort. Oh, and then right over here, by the, the LH Labs logo. Let's see here. There's actually a, a square IC chip there, and that's the XMOS chip because right underneath it is the micro USB port. Then on the other side, again, you can see right through the, the chassis and look at the components inside there. It's hard to see on the camera, but it looks like there's uh, some resistors that I can see. Uh, another op amp of some sort. Oh, and you can see the headphone jack too. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so this part is aluminum in theory. You can tell, it's hard to see on the camera again, but you can tell that there's a, a seam uh, right where the plate is and it meets the, the 3D printed sides. So it's like they printed out the side and then they slapped the aluminum plates on top of that. And uh, just a word of forewarning here. So my unit is actually not fully finished. Uh, LH Labs actually sent me an email saying, um, you are missing some silk screening here on your unit. So we'll have to send you a new one. Uh, but usually there's a silk screen information here where these dots are to tell you what each of these dots means, um, whether it's sample rate indicators, a gain indicator, or the uh, digital filter indicator. So if we turn this unit on, you can see that there's uh, blue lights there to confirm that it's on. And uh, well, actually you can see the blue lights right through that 3D printed material. That's interesting. Anyway, over here you can see the, dot, the dots being lit. Uh, again, so these are different sample rate indicators and gain light switches indicator. So if I push a switch, I don't know which one's which, you get uh, red lights here. So that might indicate a high gain or maybe a different digital filter. And if I press the other switch, I get a green light, which uh, means either high gain or a different digital filter, whichever one of the two. So in high gain, um, you'll get the 1000 milliwatt power output at 16 ohms. And then for sensitive in-ears and sensitive headphones, you want to use the low gain, uh, which outputs 100 milliwatts of power. So you have some flexibility in terms of how to use this device. Uh, not too much flexibility though, like the uh, OPPO HA2 here, which I can use for a size comparison. So it looks like they're about the same width and the HA2 is uh, obviously a lot taller. Uh, 
um, in terms of their size or their uh, their uh, depth, I guess. They are about the same. Oh, thickness. And then compared to my iPhone 4S here, it looks like the uh, the V2 Plus is just a little bit taller and just a little bit wider. And then in terms of thickness, they're about the same. So that's kind of nice for stacking the two together. And then compared to the original heat count, of course the V2 Plus, since it has a battery, it's going to be a lot larger. I believe the battery in here is a 31 milliamp hour battery, so it's a, a decent size, about the same as the OPPO HA2. So yeah, that's the LH Labs Geek Out V2 Plus. The plus means that it has the battery in here. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or feedback about how this video went, since this is a new recording setup, I don't even know how well these microphones work with this built-in microphone input. So uh, stay tuned for future videos. Uh, thanks for watching.